Hi friends, welcome back to Star Laboratory. Okay, on the last presentation, we have done the practical on blood cell grouping. Okay, today we are going to do serum grouping. As a first step, take three corn tubes and labeled as A cells, B cells and O cells. Here we need the clotted sample, so sample should be collected in a plain tube, so the tube should not be contain any anticoagulant. We need serum, so let's centrifuge and separate the serum. After the centrifugation, the serum should be separated by the help of pressure pipette. Two drops of serum should be added in each related corn tube. Then we need 5% red cell suspension of A cells, B cells and O cells. Normally in the most common laboratories, these red cell suspensions are commercially available. If it is not available, we have to prepare freshly. Five percentage red cell suspension is prepared by adding one drop of blood in 19 drops of normal saline. In this video, I am just preparing 5% A cell suspension. So like this, we have to prepare the B cell suspension and O cell suspension. Then these prepared 5% red cell suspensions are added in each related corn tubes. So firstly, we add 2 drops of 5% A red cell suspension. Secondly, two drops of 5% B cell suspension. Then finally, we add two drops of 5% O cell suspension. So after addition of the serum and the red cell suspension, we have to centrifuge the sample at low speed. After centrifugation, observe the sample under a good light illumination. Carefully we have to observe the sample whether it is having the clumps or not. Here the A cell tube is having the clumps, so the red cell group should be group B. But we cannot say whether it is Rh positive or Rh negative. So normally in the laboratory, it is better to do the serum grouping with blood cell grouping. Then only we can find out whether it is Rh positive or Rh negative.
so that's all for today if you like this video please give a like share it subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell button thank you